Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. Um, I am gonna do a bunch of different gift guides, so this is like one of many. Um, but we're gonna start off strong with a gym wrap gift guide. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna link everything down below. If it's not on Amazon, but if it's on Amazon, I'll link my storefront folder so it's all there. So it's easier for y'all to find. Um, but we're gonna start strong with the gym rat gift guide. Um, I could probably make seven million of these, but um, we're gonna stick with just this for right now. Um, so here we go. If y'all want any other gift guides or like recommendations that you guys have for vlogmas please let your girl know i have all my like list on my computer so that's what i'm going to read off of so yeah let's get started i will put probably pictures on the screen editing jacqueline you do that you you get that done girl okay thanks okay starting off first a gym backpack a gym duffel bag something um my gym bag i'm currently using is the dagny dover duffel bag um really nice um they don't smell because it's like a neoprene so it, like sucks and sweat i don't know they just it doesn't smell okay um i used my infinity tree backpack for a really long time that was great except um my lifting belt didn't really fit in it so that was a little bit of an issue but um i think um, if you're watching this, hint, hint. Um, I really want a wolf pack backpack. Um, I either want the red one or the black one with the green zippers. But I feel like all my backpacks are black, so I feel like I should get the red one, you know? Um, but yeah. Um, there's probably, like, other backpacks that aren't wolf pack. Because, like, wolf packs are, like, $90. But... I want like a really nice quality one because I use that thing like every day and I shove a lot of things in it. So, yes. So those are my three gym backpacks, I guess. I've used a little lemon backpacks too. It just depends on like what the person that you're buying for or yourself uses it for. Because if you have like a belt, shoes, resistance bands, etc, etc, a backpack is just not, like a, a normal backpack is just, it's too small. So yeah i've heard noble backpacks slash duffel bags are good i've never owned one so i can't uh give my honest opinion about it anyway um the next thing is a shaker bottle my favorite ones are helimix um helimix if you're seeing this and want to sponsor me please let me know love your things um i think helimix is the best because it doesn't have the little ball and i feel like it's the smoothest shaker bottle to mix protein, pre-workout, creatine, greens, whatever it may be, literally the best. And I found out recently that they made little mini ones. And I feel like the little mini ones are like perfect for like pre-workout or greens because I don't like mix that much water with it. But like I mix like a full shaker bottle with, of water with my protein shakes. So yeah, they got some cute colors. Um, I've dropped mine multiple times and it's never broken. So, I think they're pretty durable. Anyway, I know there's like 8 million people that use, um, have Helimix codes. Um, I'm pretty sure Tori V Fit has one. I think it's just Tori V, maybe. I don't know, don't quote me on that. Anyway, um, the next one is Powders Pre Workout. Please hold these, I'm gonna grab it because I actually have this with me. Okay. So, um, if you know anything about me, um, I have a horrible, horrible reaction with caffeine. With coffee, it makes me feel sick to my stomach, it makes me feel like my throw up, I get like super, super nauseous, and it makes me feel like crazy, like a cage animal, like Celsius, I cannot focus. It makes me like want to like be a spaz. But I like stopped taking pre-workout, so I took pre-workout for like five months maybe, six months. I don't know and then I stopped using it because it made me feel crazy and it made me feel like super gross like after I'd work out I'd literally lay on my ground in my room for hours because I felt so sick um 
so I just gave up. But Kylie Ross, um, which I'm assuming y'all know who she is. If not, she like has a pretty big following on YouTube here, which is where I found her. Um, but she's like a Dallas fitness influencer. Um, her and her fiance Bronson started their own um, supplement business right now it's just pre-workout but they said that they wanted to expand to other things um and it's like all natural um it's 100 percent natural non-gmo sucro sucralose free third party tested whatever pump and endurance whatever um and then like on the bottom it says pre powder is 100 percent natural pre-workout backed by science formulated with you in mind no artificial fan flavors colorings or preservatives blah blah blah, blah. and then like if you see like this label is not super long at all um it's like whatever you know because like they use like beetroot powder to make it pink you can see that i just don't want to spill on the ground um this is my second tub i pre-ordered it when they were doing frostbite and then this is pink lemonade this is my favorite pre-workout it doesn't make me feel sick it doesn't make me feel crazy it's like the perfect kind of like zone in for my workouts like to just get me going um but i have a code with them so if you use jacqueline at checkout you'll get 10 percent off um i will tell you between pink lemonade and frostbite pink lemonade is more sweet um frostbite is more sour Frostbite is blue raspberry, and this is obviously pink lemonade. So, pre powder. Love this. Support your girl. Um, and then the next thing, or next two things, um, are both by 1UP. I also have a code with them, Jacqueline, if you want to use it at checkout. Um, these, I've been taking these greens now for what? I started taking these greens in. March of 2020 so two years almost three um my favorite flavor is green apple the pineapple one was good and the lemonade one is pretty good the original is gross the mixed berry I think is gross anyway these are the only greens I can actually take down with just water I tried the um PE science ones and it's like reds and greens and you mix them together and I could not get those down I just like did not think that they tasted good um so I would always mix them with a smoothie. Um, I do love PE Science, but I just don't love their greens and reds. Um, these I really like. These I can get down with water. Do I think that these are the best tasting things and I look forward to it every day? No. But it helps so much with my skin and like just with like, I feel like my, how I feel after food. Like I feel like I always felt super sluggish after food and bloated and I feel like ever since I started taking greens and maybe this is a placebo effect, I don't know. Um, I felt like so much better. Also, I like 1UP's protein. Um, I've only ever tried the vanilla and cookies and cream question mark. Vanilla for sure. I don't know what the other one was. Those are pretty good. Um, I don't like them with water, but I'm also very particular with what I like with water. The only protein I can drink, like, in a shake and not mixed with, like, not in a food or something is the My Protein Lemonade one. That one is also very good. But I use the 1UP Protein a lot in, um, in my recipes. And then, or if I don't get 1UP, then I go to Campus Protein and get PE Science. Vanilla and chocolate, cookies and cream, peanut butter, and something else. I don't know what the other one I get is. Um, those are good. Um, and my campus protein code is Smesco10, I think. Um, it's going to be all down below. Next thing is creatine. Okay, I started taking creatine two weeks ago. I don't know if, if I've uh, seen much of a change, but uh, I know it takes a hot minute. But it's kind of fun. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Um, a bar pad. Um, I have mine from Grace Fit, which isn't even Grace Fit anymore. It's, what is her, whatever. Anyway, I have, I've had it for years. 
Um, I'll link some from Amazon. And Susie KB um, Fitness has good barbells pads as well for hip thrusts. And sometimes I'll put it on and do Bulgarian split squats if like the little Bulgarian split squat thing that we have in our gym is taken. But yeah, um, next are resistance bands. Um, I like the ones around the like knees for like glute activation and before leg days. Um, and then I always use the long orange rogue ones for warming up upper body for bench days. Um, I will link it all below. And, um, I always get the pack, like, a different, of, like, different, uh, resistance, because I'll use sometimes them for hamstring curls, like, to warm them up. So, yeah. We love resistance bands, um, to warm up. Wrist straps. So, I have never used wrist straps ever. I don't, I yeah, but I feel like they would be a good gift. Um, you could do like the Cobra ones, which are like I don't know, or like the normal ones. I'll link both. You know, they're good things. If I feel like I should use them for leg like, days if I've used dumbbells because my grip strength is horrible, absolutely horrible. I should work on that. But uh, you know, you live and you learn. Anyway, um. Liquid chalk. Oh my god, wait, I should grab that from my gym bag. I'll grab it. So I don't go to a powerlifting gym that has chalk. Um, if someone would like to make a really cool uh, powerlifting gym in Dallas, please let your girl know because I will join. Like if they had like, an, like a lift ATX or um, the one that's in Plano or Frisco, one of the two, the cool ones, the little garage gyms, we love those. Um, so, um, basically, like, I think my gym just doesn't have a policy against chalk. As long as you don't make a mess, they don't care. So, um, I just know that I make a mess when I ride powder chalk because I'm a child and I will forever be the seven-year-old in gymnastics that, um, makes a mess with the chalk. So, um, I got liquid chalk from Iron, please focus, not on me, from Iron America, Iron American. Liquid chalk. I don't know if this one's open. I think my other one's open. Yeah, this one's not open. But basically, it's a white liquid. You squirt it on your hands, rub it together, chalk. It's kind of baller. Um, I've used it when I was deadlifting heavy. I have very sweaty hands. So, this is a lifesaver and it's like not messy at all. So, we love. Um, next thing is headphones. Um, I would love to get some Air Max. Pros. Um, I currently have Beats or Power Beats Pro. I do love those. I've had those now for three years. Um, any wireless headphone, honestly, is great. I hate working out in AirPods. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'll link um, a couple different headphone options down below. Um, next are Sour Strips. Oh my goodness. If you could buy me one thing, it'd be Sour Strips. I freaking love those things. Um, they're so good. You can get them off campus protein. I'll link them down below. Um, protein cookies. Whether it's like, well, fat and weird, I don't really think is protein cookies. They're just like always given out after bodybuilding shows. Um, but like even like protein cookie butter or protein peanut butter, things like that, like random protein desserts are always really good. So 10 out of 10 I would recommend to a friend. Um, a frother for greens and pre-workout and whatever else you could use a frother for. Freaking love frothers. I use mine for my greens every freaking day and it's dead, so I'm charging it. Um, and then, okay, those leg compression things, I'm gonna have to pull them up because I don't know what they're called. Um, I would love these for Christmas, hint, hint. If anybody wants to get me some. Just kidding, they're like really expensive like eight hundred dollars <laughs> um the, the normatech legs um uh my dad has like one similar to them and i absolutely love them except i'm just like too short for them to fit normal they're these like they're hilarious to put on your body um absolutely love them 
they feel so good. I like wore them after we got off the plane um, from St. Thomas because I felt so gross for sitting for so long. Um, and they worked miracles. But yeah, uh, if you have the budget to get those for someone, please do it. I want them so bad. But I'm like, cause I think it's cool because like on the Norma Tech, you get to like pick all these different things. So, you know, if anybody like really feels like they love me extra for Christmas this year, please give me some Norma Tech legs. Yeah. Um, and then the next two things are gym shoes. Um, you can go the blazer route or like the noble lifting shoe route, or you could go the Nike Flyknit route or even the Nike um, RYZs. But yeah, just some cute little gym shoes. I love getting new gym shoes. Um, my favorite lifting shoe are the noble lifting shoes. Um, just the flat ones. I don't have squat shoes. Mm, maybe, maybe sometime I'll get some squat shoes. Um, blazers I pretty much only wear on upper body days because I just feel like they're not flat enough for me to squat in. I don't know. Maybe that's just me breaking, making things up in my brain. Um, and, but I like my RYZs also for upper body days or if I'm just like, I don't know, or if like the finance are good, if I'm like doing like a heavy cardio, cardio day, all the things. But yeah, that was my little gym rat Christmas list. A little, little good 411, a little good gift guide. Um, kind of everything is like different price ranges, which is good so that you can get, even if it's just a little something, a little stocking stuffer, whatever it might be. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye y'all.